Hi, I'm Sesame. And I'm Santa. And this is the Santa, Santa Sesame, Sesame show. show. For episode two of our show, we're going to be talking about our favorite childhood shows. Yes. So, Santana, what did you watch as a child? Okay, so what age range are we talking? Five, six, seven, eight. You can start from like kindergarten and just keep going. Kindergarten. Out. Okay, so in my family, we were big advocates or viewers of the Sprout Network, you know, the sub kind of unit of the PBS network. Mm -hmm. So I grew up watching Lazy Town, um, good show, good The show. Night Show, I think, with that star and the woman, and then a bunch of other Sprout shows. But my favorite was definitely Lazy Town and Teletubbies, but weren't you scared of Teletubbies? Yeah, they were scary because I thought they were like real people. <laughs> like, not like real people, I thought they were like monsters. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I didn't understand the concept as a child. But like, I see. I stayed away from Teletubbies, but what I grew up watching was, I was like on, on uh, HBO Family. So mm -hmm. there's this show called Happily Ever After, Fairy <gasps> Tales for Every Child. I watched that. Wait, you yeah, did? and he read the book? No. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Wait, no, it was like, it was like a male narrator. Uh-uh. And he would, like... No, okay. No. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the show is basically like, it was like a bunch of like different fairy tales, mm -hmm. but like with each fairy tale there was a different ethnicity. So mm -hmm. like, uh, the princess and the pea was Korean, like Jack and the Beanstalk, he was from Jamaica, uh -huh. Cinderella was Hispanic, and mm -hmm. like so on and so forth. And then also I watched this show called Crash Box. <gasps> Sorry. Do you know what Crash Box yes, is? Yes, and I think I know. I. I do know Happily Ever After, but continue, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Crashbox is like the, the mind games. Mm -hmm. and, and like, the, like the robotic kind of. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh no one, literally no one knows what Crashbox really? is. Really? It's actually so sad. No, no, no. I know what Crashbox is. No, but is. I would show people and they'd be like, oh, you watched this as a kid? And I was like, yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Because there was a skeleton dude. And then who else was there? There was the revolting slob. Yes, and yes. And he was disgusting because he was just nasty. And like the whole segment of him was just us trying to describe how nasty he was using big words. Mm -hmm. And then there was a newscaster who, like, yeah. you had to pay attention to what she was saying. There was, like, a whole bunch of stuff, like, going on behind yeah. her. And then at the end, you would get quizzed on that. Yeah. A, right. lot, of people, a lot of people don't know what that show is, which no. is upsetting for them, but good for me. Exactly. Yeah. It was a really good show. I remember, so basically it was kind of a compilation of brain games yes yes or like learning enrichment but it was in this cute little like robotic kind of animal which not cute. Oh, it's a little oh. traumatic it's oh a little yeah scary, a little it was spooky. it was grotesque yes that's a good word it was if, a grotesque get if you ever have the chance to look it up please look please it up please google Crash it right Box. now yes the first the first thing that's going to pop up is it, it is what it is mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. but like each each different segment had like a different animation so like, yes that was also really scary i didn't yes. like the haunted house themed one mm -hmm. where like you had to guess like what type of historical figure was like talking and like it was like a shadow mm -hmm. you had to guess who it was based off of their conversation yeah no i know what we're talking yeah, about and was there was one there was a boat right mm -hmm. and i don't remember i just remember there being a boat there i don't was remember a the brain skeleton game. one where it was that like was this and like he would like he, he would just like break apart and then it'll yeah. be like a math question and he'll be like it's in like an incorrect math question and then you have to like move one of his bones to make it correct yeah and i never got those right really i never got those right mm -hmm. nope, nope 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 but it was super interactive because you just talk to the tv essentially yeah it was really i love that show yes, i, yes, I yes. knew once esme said um I watched Happy Ever After. I was like, I wonder if she's gonna talk yes. about Crash Box. Literally, and no, she said literally no one knows about that show. Like I've asked like so many people and they're like, what is wrong with you? Like, why would you watch that? And I'm like, understand. you're missing out. Mm -hmm. Cause it's a good show. Do you think it's still running or do you think it's done? I think it's done. Oh, it started in like, I would say 20, two, 2000 and like, early mm, two, like before we were born. Probably before we were born. Yeah. That's like 2003. Like, so, and then like the late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah, so, so it's not fun. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, next. Anyways. <laughs> next. Let's change networks. <laughs> Let's yes. go to, um, oh, have you ever watched like Teen Nick? I did watch Teen Nick. I... Zoe 101? Yes, 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 yes. Or have you ever watched like the Amanda Bynes show? Um, no. You're just weak. It's okay. <laughs> um, 
I don't know. I honestly, it's like a fever dream to me. I only mm. remember like the name of it, but I don't really remember what it was about. The Amanda Bynes show? Was that yes. what it was called? The yeah. Amanda Bynes show? Yeah, I think so. I hope so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Like, they, mm. it got canceled. Like, I don't... Mm. Mm. I wonder why. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what else was there? Jake and Josh staples. I watched Jake and Josh. J- mm-hmm. Drake mm-hmm. and Josh. <laughs> I love Drake and Josh, but mm. t- Drake. Anyways, <laughs> Victorious was also something that I, like I still watch to this day. Mm-hmm. You know what I didn't like? What did Sam you and Cat. You didn't like Sam and Cat? No. The plot, just because, was it Cat that was really, um, so just kind of, oh my god, you know? Yeah, they made I her like very, like, unaware. Mm-hmm. And that she was not she was a stimulating character by any means. Exactly. And I think that affected the plot of the show because if, if you don't have a stimulating character, the plot just drags because that character is, you know, yeah. everywhere at once. So, exactly. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, yeah. Kat's character in, like, the beginning of Victoria, like, mm-hmm. she wasn't stupid. Mm-hmm. But, like, as the show progressed, she just got more and more stupid. Yeah, they made her like the, less... Like, the dumb blonde, except she had yeah. red hair. And she I didn't really like that. Because it was just... It was just weird to me but um yeah so i want to one was my favorite um the ending i actually don't know the ending to this day i still want to know it was in the time capsule but i guess we will never know we will never know never ever know (laughs) what else oh can we talk about um like 2014 2015 disney so like that's like the jesse good luck charlie era Mm, yes yes Mm. yes I only really remember Jesse and Good Luck Charlie, but mm-hmm. there was that like kick in it, like Disney XD. Yeah, I liked. Oh, Disney that. XD. Does that still like, exist? I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. I'm well, not in like. I haven't watched TV in years. Everything is all like Netflix and like Hulu now. Yeah. But like, I know for a fact that like TV now is not as good as it was back it's then. It's not. So like. These like even SpongeBob, they're still making more SpongeBob episodes, they and they they don't really have like any like plot to them. They're mm-hmm. just like making noises, like oh, that's interesting. and making faces, like they're like, Ugh. and that's like the whole show, and like yeah. everyone laughs. And like I, it's not funny. No. <laughs> like where's up my leg? Like stuff like that. No, mm-hmm. they, I don't know. TV nowadays is just not as good as it used to. Mm-hmm. Makes me sad. That's why I want to talk about this. Yeah, I keep watching like old or like Bratz. Have you ever watched like? Did you grow up watching Bratz? I did, but I don't remember any of it. I do remember watching it, though. I still watch it to this day. Bratz Monster High. Wait, oh, like the Bratz movies. Yes, yes, the monster. Okay, I know what you're talking about. The Monster High movies were so good. They were so good. good. Don't even get me started on Netflix, because Netflix had all of them, like all the Bratz movies, all the Monster High movies. They took them down. They took them down. I was like, if you don't want my money, just say that, because you will not be getting it. Just leave that. You will not be getting it. (laughs) Um, what else is there? So, I, can we talk more about Jesse? Yeah. I love Jesse, and I loved, I just loved the dynamic of, what were their last names, the kids? Ooh, I don't, I don't know the last, the kids, but that family, I loved how different the personalities were, and how Jesse was also, I just liked that show so much, and I think Disney did a great job with that. That's my favorite Disney show. I actually did not like that show oh. <laughs> that much. Hmm. I just thought that they were annoying. Like I, I didn't get the humor in that. Well, at all. I didn't think it was funny. I just mm. thought it was really entertaining. Because mm. I'm not one to laugh at TV jokes anyway. But when there's a lot going on and the plot is, there's just a lot going on. Period. And somehow the show writers, like, managed to, you know put it together mm-hmm. I really mm-hmm. like that <laughs> no I just thought that something about Debbie Ryan's acting just what? ruined it I do not like Debbie Ryan oh, I, loved, I Debbie loved her Ryan. in The Sweet Life though The okay. Sweet Life on deck yes mm-hmm. good London I love that show so much London was a good game oh. just in that show oh I'm sorry just in that show yeah wait London was um, the one who was very like Brenda Song. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. okay, yeah. She irritated me a little. I don't even remember. Oh, remember like the old commercials? Like the Disney commercials? Mm-hmm. Where it was like, pass the plate. Oh, <gasps> and you're like, mm-hmm. they don't do stuff like that They anymore. don't? What do they do? What is Disney Channel nowadays? Can I, we? I refuse to watch. 
I refuse to watch. No, they, and they, um, yeah, we need to go back to 2014, 2015. They shouldn't, they just should have just, like, stopped making shows, you know? Or they just should have continued with the same energy that they had. Exactly. Like, we had shows like Dora, Nihao Kai Lan, Go Do It or Go. <gasps> Nihao Kai Lan. No one talks the... about Nihao Kai Lan. And I'm like, what? They don't really don't make shows like that. Educational, oh my like, gosh. they're all like, Coco Melon. Oh, oh yeah. They, just songs and stuff mm, like that. Oh, Doc McStuffins oh, is Doc still McStuffins really good. good. That was good, that was good. That was do you know the, um, last thing, do you know the thing behind, the, I guess the story behind Doc McStuffins? No. So basically, I think the girl has terminal cancer. Doc McStuffins has terminal cancer, mm-hmm. and she's... Oh, I think I each episode is like um, kind of not her dreaming, but her like I guess dreaming of what she could do if she didn't have cancer. If I'm not wrong, Dang. I'm pretty sure it's that. But that is actually so sad to me. It's very sad. And I don't. After learning that, I watch Doc McStuffins. And yes, I still watch Doc McStuffins. <laughs> it's okay. I watch Miraculous Ladybug. So uh, yes. I want to start watching that actually. It's really good. I mean. It's kind of, they drag it out. Mm-hmm. Like, it's been like five seasons and it's like the same thing every episode. Mm-hmm. But you'll get over it. Yeah, like, it's no, good. It's I'd good. watch it again. I mean, not again. <laughs> I'd start watching it. it. <laughs> All right, okay. well, I think that's about it. Yeah. Yes. Great seeing you guys again. Yup, 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 yup. It's been a while. A lot mm-hmm. of work, a lot of yeah. exams. But. What can we say? We're Vanderbilt students. That's that. Yup. That's that it, that's that. all. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye.